service number every time. It was great to see him at the, in the in the playoffs, man. When, yes. when I went to um, when I was at the Garden for Game Three of the uh, or yeah, no, 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 sorry, yeah, Game Three. Game Three was the first home game against the Cavs, man, and like all the greats were there. It was Starks and. And, uh, you know, like Gerald Wilkins, all these guys, Sprewell, and, you know, all these guys are in the building. I'm like, this is dope, but we need Melo in here, man. We, where's Melo? We need Patrick. We need Melo. The next game, they were there. Several, separate nights, separate nights. So, but it was good to see Melo there. Melo was there game four, I believe. That was when Brunson goes crazy. You see Melo and his son in the front row. He's going ballistic, man. But he got a lot of love from the crowd that night, man. It was definitely good to see Melo there. But should they should they retire that number, man? Is that the next step? Woo. I think they should. I mm. think they should. I think they should retire that number. Um, just because for what he did for what he did for the franchise, for how dark it was during those years, I think you gotta respect that. I know he didn't make it he didn't have the deep playoff runs that we saw in the nineties, but I also gotta look at what they gave him afterwards. And still, the All Stars, the recognition, cons- con- consistently representing New York for those All Star games, being a top scorer for the team, uh, Olympian, you know, was he got two, three gold medals? As you said, like you gotta, you gotta put some respect on that for what he's done. I know the question after that is, well, we didn't do that for Bernard King, and maybe even John Starks. He asked that question. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe do you do a little bit of revisionist history and go give those guys those honors so you don't make it uh, if, if you want to, you know, make it a little bit more of an even playing field for some historical Knicks that haven't been recognized. But I think his number should be should be hung in the in the rafters. Edgar, how about you, man? Um, I was talking to some friends and we were torn. Uh, I say yes and no. Part of me is <laughs> thinking about how the Yankees do it sometimes. Like, you know, Tino Martinez, his number's not retired, but you honored him. Yeah. You know, you mm-hmm. put a plaque up. And I think that's one of the things that the Knicks should do with some players. Like, you know, like John Starks. They should have, like, a section in the garden. I, I like that. Players. Some mm-hmm. of these great players. You know, um, the only reason I would say no is because he didn't play long enough for the Knicks. That's the only re- You know, seven seasons, but, mm-hmm. you know, out of those seven, three and a half were very were, were okay. You know, mm-hmm. he maybe made it to the second round. But if they do retire the number, I'm not mad at it. I understand. So I'm kind of like torn. Yeah, I'm with you. I would love to see it retire. Uh, I would definitely love to see it. I think based on their standards of what they've done in the past, I don't think they will. I don't necessarily think they will. But But you are right. They should have you know, some sort of acknowledgement for some of the greater players or the, some for the, the guys who, you know, were great players, but not necessarily iconic. Uh, well, it's, it's hard to say, man, because he's still one of the best Knicks of all time, just from a, a, a pure talent and production standpoint. But the team concept, it kills him. You know, he went out 196 and 216 with the team, losing record with the team, 7 and 14 in the playoffs. I mean, those are some bad, bad teams. It's tough. I don't. I don't know if he gets there. They just there wasn't enough winning. And like you said, Alex, it, like Alex said, like if you didn't retire Bernard King's number. Yeah, it's hard. To, you know, say let's retire Melo's yeah. number. Yeah, Bernard King for those couple of years, he dominated the, the NBA. Dominated. Yeah, dominated. But you know, Bernard is kind of same thing. It's not enough. Not enough seasons. He wasn't healthy enough, and those teams weren't good either. You know, those, those, those I mean, they, he had some, uh, he had, um, how many playoffs? Playoff yeah, with right. The, against the Celtics. Against and, the Pistons, you know, right? Yeah, Pistons, yeah. Yeah. But, um, but again, just, just not enough. So, I don't know. I would. I hope they do. I hope they retire number seven. But I hope, like, the Garden creates, like, a, uh, some type of, you know, a wall for some of the greatest yeah. players and put a plaque up and yeah. honor them that way. So then nobody could be upset. you like at the same yeah. time, you still honor them. You still, you know, Jersey ceremony. I think I've always said it should go to champions. Yeah. Champions yeah. Or, or somebody who got you to the finals multiple times. Right. Right. Yeah. True. Indeed, man. 